Okay, topic six, the sanctions. We touched upon it already, and now we zoom in. And this is part three of the intervention strict to sensu, the activity of a regulator <coughs> to eventually intervene. So prior to sanctions, there is information, evidence on the table that good services and market behavior do not comply. So on the table there are cigarettes with two milligrams instead of one. So that's one. Two, there's a legal opinion Duh. that that is not right. All right? Yeah, but with complex topics, the legal opinion is a sort of separate topic. Is this quality medical service by this surgeon? Yeah, that, that is, and the rule is provide quality medical service. And then a surgeon is doing an open heart surgery, 20 hours, 20 stakeholders, and ultimately the patient dies. And then the hand says, that was bad. You know? then, then what is in the standard? So in figuring out whether it is right or wrong, in terms of legal sense, in the legal sense, you have to do multiple interpretations. Patient is that potentially means bad services? Maybe not. And that's because also people die without medical services. Actually, everybody dies at a certain point. And then to form the opinion whether this is bad services, and that requires then a lot of investigations, interpretations to look at comparable situations, case law, and so forth. And then when you have that opinion, well, this was a bad doctor, and then you have to figure out what should be the intervention, what should be the sanction. So if we lock up doctors that produce dead patients, then you're stupid as a society, because then you run out of doctors. And then no one wants to study medical studies anymore because if you know you do your best and the, uh, yeah, the lady of 95 years old die, you know, then then so the sanction is then something you have to think. Uh, last week we did the exercise with the cigarettes, and uh, that is less complicated. There you can say, hey guys, one milligram is one milligram. When I can measure it, you can measure it too. So don't trick me. And you can be a little bit stronger. Yeah, but in your advice last week, and you also said, well, let's give them sort of warning letter and two weeks, three weeks, and there were various approaches to say, okay, at a certain point I don't want to see this anymore. It's like raising children. So who of you did some babysitting in the last 20 years? Who did some care for elderly people, Alzheimer people? Yeah, so, so sometimes you have to take the lead, and then and then carrot and stick and to to balance them. That, that is what we talk about. Okay. In these sanctions, there are those two options. So either the intervention strict to censor tries to repair the illegal, wrongful situation, or the sanction is about to punish the actor, the market actor. And the punishment has sort of two um, aspects, or three aspects. One is that if, if, if the punishment is a decapacitation, then this perpetrator cannot do it again. And so if you are taken out of business, you cannot produce goods and services anymore. Two. It has a deterrence, deterrence effect on the perpetrator. So this company thinks, mm, I don't want to pay this type of fine again. And they have this sort of immediate experience of paying the fine or other parts of the sanction. And then the third effect is this deterrence for other market actors. So other producers of cigarettes 
know about this sort of event, oh, did you hear? And from Philip Morris got a fine. Let's check our laboratory or our production plant and to see whether there's not a two milligram sort of machine still going on. So those are the thoughts behind. And then let's look at this restorative sanction and let's look at the warning letter that is distributed and I hope is this everybody having this letter? So this is to Mr. One in the 192 Yung West Road in Xingdai District in Chengzhou in China. So what you should do as a modern person is that you go to Google Earth and see where, where is this office located to make it a reality. Let me try it once more. So make a few notes, check with your neighbor whether you're sort of on one page, and then I will call on a few of you. So read it closely, it reads like a novel. And then the underlying messages, if you end up in this industry, make these types of letters. American civil servants. Regulators are very good letter writers. And as a European, I can only be jealous about their systematic approach. So, go ahead. <laughs> 